this AI first world and what is required for us to go there. You see, for example, IIT Hyderabad just launched an interesting program called BTEC in AI. You know what the advantage of this? It has it is a new IIT, it's not one of the top first six IITs, right? The older IIT. But what this gives us is it is a way it has found by which it can leapfrog ranks in top, beating other IITs because of this new program. It's a very disruptive thinking to prepare engineers for the future. They're saying I'll create, customize my end-to-end. -end. And I was talking to some of the professors at this place. You know what they're doing? They have brought an interdisciplinary team to handle this. It's not going to be in computer science only. It's going to be done by people from humanities. Why humanities? Anybody? Behavior. Human behavior is one thing. Natural language, computational linguistics. People, there are linguistics professors who are very good in understanding language. Human machine interfaces, ergonomics, how which are safe ways of designing driverless cars? What is a safe way of designing an autonomous drone? Safety is very important. There it comes from industrial design. <coughs> Then why is mechanical engineering department important? They have, because they have to devise those engines which can develop those autonomous machines and internals of driverless cars. Computer science, anyway, the algorithms are coming from there. Then one of the, another important area where people are coming from are people from mathematics and statistics. So it's an interdisciplinary set of people coming from all kinds of departments coming together to help in this. It's not going to be a program under computer science. It's going to be driven by people across disciplines to make this happen. Only then it will work. Don't treat that as only a computer science discipline. Because today, AI is helping in every, every branch you talk about. You talk about chemical engineering, people are talking about interesting analysis of chemicals by using data-driven process control. Computer Vision is changing the way you're looking at application errors in manufacturing shop floor. What is application error? Something which is a defective design. You have some specification of engineering drawing, you develop the pro actually printed it, 3D printed it, or you actually fabricated it, you see there's a manufacturing defect. How do you do that? By developing a computer vision based application which can say that it is conforming to actual expectation or not. You see, AI is in every domain you're talking about. Every engineering discipline you tell me, I'll tell you ways by which AI is getting there. It's used. In a first, AICT gives credits for new tech courses. This is very interesting for all of you, I'm sure, right? So, I think they're talking about technologies like AI, robotics, etc. And this is something which is right from the most major ground governing body. This is real life. The topics for AI. PG level courses are already being launched by major universities. For working professionals, there is a whole bunch of what we call as on-the-job learning, mainly digital learning, like Jigsaw Academy. Our own company, we do a lot of trainings for corporates. We develop, we have already trained more than 4,000 people, students, professionals, across the last four years in different aspects of AI. And one of the things you've got to understand is people, even when they're doing a job, they take up this because this helps them in changing their career. Like a lot of testers come to us saying that testing is eaten up by AI and automation. Can I look at a career change? Project managers, today they're all being laid off in IT industry. People like project, many of the people who are recruited in the IT industry about 8 to 10 years back, they're all recruited and they've gone up the ladder in project managers. Now they're not required in the industry. Sad. Why? Because Companies now don't want project managers who are only doing managing people. We don't want managing people because the whole industry has moved on to a new way of doing software called Agile. Where everybody is a tester, designer, developer, requirement analyst and a project manager. So you need a new kind of skills. For a 21 day project, you don't need project manager. You need somebody who is understanding the domain well. So project managers are now coming to relearn, reskill. So it's not that you are talking about only skilling while you are in your College. Even it's lifelong learning. Because at the, unfortunately, the era we live in, technology is so disruptive that every few years you have to 
relearn. Even as a faculty, you have to relearn new technologies. Whether you're talking about a person who is in computer science or whether it's mechanical. Some areas, I think, probably are a lot more stable, like civil engineering. I'm assuming that there's not much disruption happening. But even there, a lot of new materials are coming, right? New materials keep coming. But the pace at which you have to relearn, definitely the worst is computer science. There's so much churn happening in disruptions in technology. 